Alright, what's up? What's going on, guys? Captain Monk here again. This is a Black Ops gameplay on the map WMD, Weapons of Mass Destruction, and there's no weapons here, so I don't know why they called it that, but regardless, I'm using the FAMAS in this gameplay, uh, a really overpowered gun in Black Ops history, and in this video, I basically wanted to talk to you guys a bit about dominant guns in, pre in basically all the Call of Duty, so I was going to say previous ones, but the fact is, there's dominant guns in Monfrey 3 as well, so... Let's get right into it. So we'll be starting off with Call of Duty 4 because, to be honest, I didn't play the Call of Duty before that. And me telling you guys stuff about games I ever played would just be un really unlogical. So let's just go with what games I've played. So Call of Duty 4, the best guns in the game, the two most popular ones. I'm going to try and list off two for each game. If not, if there's only one, I guess I'll just say one. But in Call of Duty 4, the most popular or most overpowered quote-unquote gun was the M16. And the reason for this was because it killed so fast. I mean, especially with slum power being a part of the game. The gun was a 2 to 3 bullet kill at any range, 2 up close and a 3 at distance, or 3 to 4 without stop power. So, stop power was essential for that weapon to be successful, but if you put stop power on this gun, it was extremely overpowered because it just killed so fast. And really, that was pretty much the only game this M16 was considered overpowered in, especially if you look at Monfrey 3 today. So, the M16 was overpowered in that game. Then we got the uh, MP5, which wasn't really overpowered, but some people thought it was, some people didn't. I thought it took skill to use, but some people did say it was overpowered. Uh, that's, I'm going to leave that to you guys. Was the MP5 overpowered or not? You guys say that. Um, but then we got World at War, where we got the MP40, and that is without a doubt probably the most overpowered gun in any Call of Duty, at least in my opinion. Because, put it this way guys, you guys know how the MK14 can kill in one bullet to the head at close range? Yeah, so can the MP40 with something power on it. It was ridiculous. So. The MP40 was extremely overpowered in that game. It had a 32 round clip, or 64, with the um, extended mag attachment, also known as the round drum. Was it round drum? No, the MP40 had dual mags, but it wasn't really like a dual mag in Black Ops. It was more like an extended mag, where it just doubled the ammo instead of multiplied it by 1.5 like they do in this game here. So yeah, it was pretty overpowered, and especially when you pair it with Juggernaut, because yeah, you don't get that one bullet headshot, but you still get two bullet kills up close, and that is really extremely overpowered. The gun did have a low rate of fire, but the fact that it could kill it close in two shots without stomp power is just ridiculous. There was other SMGs like the Type Type 100, I believe it was called, the Type 100 and the Thompson, that can kill in two bullets up close, but they required stomp power to do so. The MP40 did not, and that's why it was overpowered. It also had a really good long range damage at 29 per bullet, so it was ridiculous. Um, then we get, uh, what was it, Monfred 2, you get like the FAMAS, the M16, the UMP, oh my god, I'm going to start on the UMP, that gun was a assault rifle that had the mobility of an SMG, or yeah, so pretty much it was overpowered, and there was tons of other guns like that, but the thing was with Monfred 2 is it was probably the most balanced game as far as weapon balance goes, because, like I just mentioned, there was at least 3 to 5 really strong weapons in that game, which kind of balanced it out, and that's kind of the same deal with Monfred 3, but I'll get into that in a second here. Then we got Black Ops, where we have the FAMAS, and the FAMAS and the AUG are pretty much the same gun, the only difference being basically how they looked, and the recoil pattern. The recoil pattern of the FAMAS was really easy to master, so it was extremely easy to use, and that's why I'm using it here in this game, guys, because it kind of suits the topic I'm trying to talk about. And the 74U, which had really good handling, and it was extremely good with um, rapid fire on it, because it has the same rate of fire as the PP90 M1 from Monfrey 3, if you never played Black Ops. It gives you kind of an idea of how fast it shot with rapid fire. But it still had really good damage, so it was pretty overpowered. So, yeah, that's just another example of overpowered guns in that game. And then Monfrey 3, you got, like, what, the MP7, no recoil, good damage. The Type 95 being a two-bullet kill up close. The ACR having really decent damage with, like, no recoil. There's other guns I'm going to list off, but I'm running out of time here. So, basically, what I ask you guys in this video was there's the argument that, basically, having overpowered guns is good because it makes it so that players want to use really bad guns they can, and they want to use really good guns they can, so they have a bit of a choice. They want to use good or bad guns, but in my opinion, I prefer it if all guns were balanced. Let's get dogs called in on us. I have no idea how that happened. I mean, look at the score. We're winning 70 kills to 48. I can't really see because it's pretty small. But yeah, we're winning this game pretty bit, pretty good. But that's basically what I want to ask you guys is, do you guys prefer it when every gun is balanced? Like, there's no overpowered guns. More like Battlefield style, where pretty much every gun has a usage, and every gun is equal, and there's, like, there's not... Like, in every situation, there's a better gun, but overall, every gun has a strong point. Whereas in Call of Duty, basically, there's good guns and there's shit guns. I mean, look at the PM63. Do you Have you ever said to yourself, I would have won that gunfight if I had the PM63? Or the Uzi is another great example. The Uzi is shit in this game, so you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on that in the comment section. Is it better to have shitty and good weapons, or is it better if they're all balanced? 
Let me know your guys' opinions in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time. My name's Captain Monk. Peace.